Hi everyone, welcome back. It's the Louis Vuitton Princess and today we are doing something super fun. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my speedy collection. So, <laughs> most of my speedy collection is limited edition. A couple years back, it seems like a couple years but it was actually quite a few years back probably around 2018 um i decided i wanted to get into collecting limited edition speedies um my first limited edition speedy if i remember correctly it was either a multicolor or a kusama but i just knew i wanted to get into collecting limited edition speedies my very first louis vuitton bag like a lot of people was a traditional monogram speedy 30 that's usually what a lot of people start out with getting into the brand um i actually sold that speedy and i'm really sad about it um I wish I still had it to be honest just because it was my first ever bag um, but you know it's okay I've evolved past that and so I now feel like I actually have a sizable enough speedy collection where like I can show it like I can showcase it so let's hop right on in so the first speedy I have to show you guys is this one this is the Louis Vuitton speedy 18 I'm gonna try to like get the canvas from like being kind of like bent i have this one stuffed weird but anyways this is the louis vuitton speedy 18 and this is one that you don't see a lot a lot of people mistake this for the speedy hl it is not the speedy hl um this is the speedy 18 and for reference this is the HL Speedy. So you can see there's like a relatively decent size difference between these two. Um, but nonetheless, the Louis Vuitton Speedy 18 um, is from the, um, I think it's the 10th year anniversary of Louis Vuitton Japan. These are very hard to find, very rare. I believe there were only 500 made. Um, so you do not see them very often. They're pretty hard to come by. So this one's a little bit beat up as you guys can see, but you know, it's one of those like vintage, you know, very much collector items that it's like, mm, it's okay. So the Speedy 18. Next, we're going to keep the theme of the little bags going. So I showed you guys my um, mini Speedy HL in monogram. I was very lucky and I purchased this one before these like blew up because if you're like me and you've been in the community for a while, you remember when these used to sell for like 99 cents and now they're like hundreds of dollars. So I managed to get this one before they blew up and I'm really happy about that. Next up is the very coveted Louis Vuitton Multicolor Monogram um, Noir Mini Speedy HL. And this is another one that I managed to snag like right before these really blew up. So I didn't spend a fortune on it. And if you're a multicolor collector, these are an absolute must. Next up, we have the Louis Vuitton Multicolor monogram um blanc mini speedy and this is probably one of the famous pieces in my collection because it's one that i got for a really good price i found this one for 250 um very very good price for these this was quite a few years ago when i got this one so i really really love this bag and it was i believe my first mini speedy pretty sure this was my first mini speedy i got so this one will always kind of have like a special little spot in my heart and the very rare in coveted Louis Vuitton Mini Speedy um, special order in Damier Abin. Like even when I hold this piece in videos, I'm kind of like in shock that like I actually own one of these because they're so rare, so coveted, so hard to find. I don't know how many there are in the world, but I know there's like very few. Um, and I'm very, very, very happy that I have my complete mini speedy collection um, of the monogram multicolor noir multicolor blanc and the Damia bean there's only one more mainstream one and that is the louis vuitton centenaire 
The Centenaire is for the 100 year anniversary of Louis Vuitton. There were a couple bags released for that. And it's the Damier Bean print canvas with Vachetta um, accents. So I'm missing that one. And I've like on a rare occasion seen an Epi one. That's an even more rare special order. But I have all of like the mainstream ones. So next up. This is another one that's famous in my collection. It is the Free Speedy. Um, this is my Louis Vuitton Multicolor Blanc Speedy 30. Um, and I got this bag for free. Um, so this one's like not in super good condition. It has flaws, but it's like it was a free Speedy, so we don't complain. Um, but nonetheless, so this is a collection staple and it just looks so cute when it's like partnered up with the little mini. Absolutely love, love, love these. Next up, we have the Louis Vuitton Cherry Speedy, um, also known as the Siri Speedy. And this was another one I snagged, like right before it blew up. This was actually a gift that I bought for myself when I first started working at my current job. I bought this one for like, I think it was $1,000 even. Um, as you can see, it's in really, really good shape, like very well maintained. Um, so I got this one quite a few years ago back when I was able to snag it for cheap because these have also really blown up and I have a pretty sizable cherry collection. I think I've made some videos on here before about the bags I have in my cherry collection, um, but this is another one of those cherry collection like must have pieces. And I guess I have one more Speedy 25, but this is a Speedy 25. Next up, we have the Louis Vuitton Kusama Speedy. And as I said, I think this was one of my first limited edition Speedies, actually. And this one is also very well preserved, very well maintained. Um, for anybody who knows me, my favorite color is yellow. So this was a must, must, must have for me. Um, this bag basically just looks like a giant sunflower. And I live for that. I love that. So this is one of my collection favorites. I might even, I think I'm going to take this one out to lunch tomorrow very much love this one next this one was on my channel pretty recently <laughs> so happy to have this one this is the louis vuitton monogramouflage speedy 35 honestly i'm still in shock that i managed to get a hold of this bag and i managed to get a hold of it for a thousand dollars completely in shock but here she is super beautiful and honestly she's really made my speedy collection feel sort of complete because it's like you know as a lot of you guys know and if you don't know the monogramouflage speedy is the like most coveted most valuable of the mainstream Louis Vuitton speedies so it's like this is the piece that like really makes or breaks a speedy collection so yeah I'm I'm very much gagged next up this is like a little hidden gem you know like i feel like this is one that like not a lot of people really know about but like if you know you know like this is the louis vuitton damier pietus blue um speedy and i absolutely love this piece i think it's so cool it's got all the pretty sequins on it triple stitching super gorgeous this one i always tell people is my winter bag i have some really pretty pictures of this one on my blog um in the snow and you know as i've said before like i really just feel like this gives like christmas magic like winter vibes new year's vibes with all of the sparkles really 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 big fan of this bag Next up, we have the Louis Vuitton Multicolor Noir Speedy 30. This, I think, was my second limited edition Speedy. Um, and this one, also super cute, pretty well maintained. I purchased this one from Fashion File. This is the only bag I've ever purchased from Fashion File. I'm not a huge Fashion File fan, but that's a story for another day. Either way, really, really love this bag. Another one I managed to snag before they really blew up. The placement is like to die for. Um, and yeah, so I have the, the Blanc and the Noir Speedy 30s, a must have for any Speedy collector. 
Next up, we have the Louis Vuitton Damier Azure Speedy 30. This is my only non-limited edition Speedy that I have. Um, it's just plain Damier Azure. And this was another one. I think I paid $350. Like, it was really, really cheap when I bought it. This is an original Damier Azure Speedy. I think it's from 2007 when Damier Azure first launched. So it is a, an original and pretty well maintained. Um really like this one super cute for the winter time um but nonetheless this is my only non-limited edition i thought about doing the tahitian because that would sort of be like the equivalent there aren't a ton of like damier limited editions um so when i got this one i really just kind of wanted a damier bag like a damier speedy and so i just kind of went with this one so i don't know maybe i'll like upgrade this one to a limited edition at some point but for now it it, it does what it needs to do Next up is the very coveted Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 in the Richard Prince Aquarelle watercolor. This is another one that's like very much up there with the monogramophage. I mean, just seeing them side by side, it just fills my heart with joy. This is another one that's like up there on that level that if you are a Louis Vuitton collector, a Speedy collector, this is one you absolutely like have to have. I was very fortunate to purchase this one for a very fair price as well and I have a video here on my YouTube about this one. Really love this one. Super cute, super versatile. The pinks, oh. Louis Vuitton does not make a lot of bags with pinks so I really love any bag that's got like pink monogram a favorite and last but certainly not least because this is definitely one of the rare bags that i own we have the louis vuitton multicolor speedy 25 in fringe a lot of people don't even really know about this bag but it's very cute um the number one question i always get about this bag is was the bag designed like this or did i have it fringed the bag was designed like this so it was it was designed with the fringe super cute super colorful super girly love this one i haven't carried this one a lot but this was like my go-to bag last summer i carried this constantly super cute absolutely adore it so nonetheless that wraps up my Louis Vuitton Speedy collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. As always, if you have any questions or you want to see more of my Louis Vuitton collection, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at the Louis Vuitton Princess.